Welcome everyone for the astrology capsule of April 2018. First of all, um, just a few words to say that the month of March has been wonderful for me. Everything we talked about last month are really uh, taking uh, place. It's fascinating how those connections with the authority of Saturn, with the dynamism, the, the, the dynamism of, March, of Mars are really uh, working together and uh, official things, decisions are just happening and taking place. It's wonderful and it's still just the preparation phase uh, for the full moon which will be the culminant point of this month of March with the full moon where Saturn and Mars will be in conjunction. They will form two squares, one with Sun which is in Aries in opposition with the moon which is in Libra um, and the other square, of course, will be with the moon. So that aspect is uh, amazing, really a strong point in the month of Mars, March. And um, yeah, it's already uh, taking place if you are listening and doing your inner work. So that's wonderful. Um, and now let's move right away to the month of April. So April is pretty special because it's new moon really does a special work. It really works as it should, let's say. So um, what is a new moon? What is the impact of a new moon um, in general? Well, a new moon is kind of a new... Um, it's a moment where we just clean the plate of everything that was before in the previous month and we, um, we bring a new receptive plate, a new receptive um, yeah, plate. So, um, and, and then on that very day of the new moon, uh, there's an imprint that is given and through uh, and, and from the new moon to the full moon, the energy will be growing. That imprint will start growing, will start accumulating some energies so that at the full moon, that energy can just expand. At the full moon, there's tons of energy the moon is bright, shining, light has been increasing all the way. So it's a moment where there, there's maximum energy and then um, the, the project we've been working on or the issue, inner issue we've been working on can just um, cut free, cut loose and, um, and just expand and gain its own uh, freedom, I would say, freedom of expression. And it's just, there's enough energy there so that life will keep going. So from a new moon to a full moon, we're preparing something, we're nurturing some energy, something is growing, we can start new projects, it's time to start new projects, of course, and to really work at making them grow. Projects are just inner work, it's just the same thing. Um, it's really interesting in your personal life to look at those things, um, the, the period of time from the new moon to the full moon, and from the full moon to the new moon. What is then the full moon to the new moon period of time? What does that uh, really has as an impact. Well, uh, there's a lot of energy happening at the full moon and then it's just slowing down, right? There's less and less and less energy, less and less light on the moon. So that affects our um, 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 psy psychic uh, side, our, um, our um, psychology. So uh, there's less and less energy that is manifested. So it's a time to let go things, right? It's a time to just uh, slow down on some things, just not being pushing so much anymore. We can let go a little bit, let things, you know, fall off. And it's, it's a time also to purify whatever we need to purify to, 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 to get rid of a few things, uh, both in our inner work, but also outside in our uh, concrete physical work. So it's two different phases, very, very interesting. And it's, it's really good to look at that in your personal life in the past, what has been going. Um, very often people that start projects in the period from the new moon to the full moon, where the energy is increasing, uh, had really great success in their project. It's like a really nice thing to look at. So this time in April, um, the aspect that is happening at, happening at the new moon is um, is just showing us the path of how does that period of time from new moon to full moon is working. 
So let's have a, a closer look to it. Um, the aspect will be, of course, a conjunction of Sun and Moon, because to have a new Moon, you need a conjunction of Sun and Moon. And they, form, they will form a square with Pluto. Now, that could seem a bit not that important, right? Uh, but in fact, it is really important because uh, what will be happening after that, in that specific period of time we've just talked about, um, there are two things. So Mars will form a conjunction with Pluto, with time, during that period of time, and the Sun will form a conjunction with Uranus. So it's two aspects that are connecting with um, that main aspect, right? The Sun is involved in that square, where Sun and Moon are in square with Pluto. So the Sun is there, and it's going to form a, then a conjunction with Uranus as it moves up. And then same thing, um, Mar uh, Pluto down there is not moving much, but Mars will join Pluto, and at that very moment, Pluto will start retrograding. So there's a lot happening there and basically um, uh, the, those two different dynamics uh, can be explained like that and Mars and Pluto are really just pushing our personal energy manifestation energy identity so that we just you know get out there and and give our energy to something bigger, something that touches, uh, reach out to the whole society. So our energy will, will just be, um, uh, will have a lot of torque, will be really willing to change things, uh, meaning that our identity in the collective vision will be really pushing, will be really willing to, to, to do something, like to change something, and it will be something very, very deep inside because Pluto is involved there and it's actually Pluto that was triggered by that square at the new moon. So you see that this energy of Pluto will keep growing with the arrival of Mars coming into conjunction with it. So uh, in our personal life, um, that energy will be growing, will be very, very strong. Um, so that's the process for Pluto and Mars during that period of time from new moon, uh, new moon to full moon. And then on the other side, we have the Sun moving into conjunction with Uranus. Uranus is in Aries and um, it's at the very end of the sign. And it's when you have Uranus in Aries, there's a lot of things happening, right? Uranus in Aries can really be quick. It can, has, it can have um, an action. It can change things really fast, deploy energies really, really fast. We know that Uranus uh, likes to do that. He likes to um, uh, do something and all of a sudden everything is changed for everybody around, right? So when the Sun gets in conjunction in Uranus and Aries, because the Sun is uh, exalted in Aries, so that creates a lot of energy. You have your, the Sun in early spring shining bright, changing all the reality around because sp spring is really taking on the place and everything is changing. And Uranus is there giving its last burst of energy for the sign of Aries, really strong. So, um, uh, so if you combine both of those energies happening, the development of Pluto with our Mars and the Sun and Uranus, both conjunction that will be happening right after that square um, during the period of time from new moon to full moon in April, there's a lot of energy that will be deployed for whatever work we want to do. And that's how a new moon really functions. It triggers something at the very beginning, at the moment of the new moon, and then the energy just starts growing, 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 growing with time. And, and the aspects are really showing it, meaning that this time, this month will be very powerful. And that period of time from new, new moon to full moon should be observed, should be really uh, looked at. Especially since the full moon will be quite special also in April. First, there's a specific notion that we'll be talking about. Something special happened in Mars, in March. And it, well, right now it didn't happen yet, but it will when we'll be in April. So, um, it's the, that full moon of March at the very end of the month, as I just said, will have um, a double square 
with Sun and Mars, um, sorry, Saturn and Mars in conjunction in Capricorn, forming a square with the Sun in Aries and a square with the Moon in Libra. Okay, and the Sun and Moon are in opposition, so it's kind of a triangle. So um, it means that Saturn, Sun, and Moon are all at the same degree, not in the same sign but they are at the same degree in their respective sign. Now, what is so special is that Saturn will just start its retrogradation right after that. And this creates something special. When that occurs, the rhythm of the retrogradation of Saturn will follow the rhythm of the full moons. What I mean is Full moons happen every 29 days and a bit more. So as the full moon are happening, in terms of degrees, they are decreasing slightly, of just a few degrees. They change sign, of course, right? Um, but they will, they will, the degree where it is will just decrease from one, two, or three. It will change slightly backwards because it's less than uh, because there are 30 degrees in a sign and anyway it's just going backwards very very slowly and when saturn just starts its retrogradation while it's aligned with the full moon in terms of degrees right they're not in conjunction it's a square but st still they're at the same degree then uh, saturn will keep up with the same rhythm as this slight backward movement of the degrees of the full moon. It means that Saturn will be aspecting all full moons till uh, September, and September included. That means for at least six solid months, Saturn will be aspecting the full moons. And we just described the reality of the full moons, what it means. It's that energy that increases and increases and increases and it's the peak of that energy. It's huge. And at that moment, it's aspecting Saturn. So that's very special. It means that 2018 is a year where Saturn plays a major role for more than half of the full moon of 2018. Saturn will be aspecting both moon and sun. That's very, very key, uh, very special. You'll see in your inner world how Saturn will always be there. And that's very important, especially because Saturn just entered Capricorn where it's ruling and it's very strong. It brings a lot of structure energy. So 2018, as we mentioned, for the capsule of January for the year 2018 is a year for, for structure. If you need to get into structure, into larger society structure, you want to go further, move further, 2018 is a great year for that. And that is happening starting in March, March 2018. So keep the good work because till September included, those aspects will still be on. So that's very, very special, very key to remember. Okay, so very, very important. So the full moon of April. Um, sun, of course, will be in Taurus and the moon will be in Scorpio. And they will be, so the sun will be forming a trine with Saturn in Capricorn and Saturn in Capricorn will form a sextile with the moon in Scorpio. So it's a very harmonious aspect this time. In March it was squares, this time it's trine and sextile. So the aspects will change, but they will always be aspecting each other for the full moon, Saturn, sun and moon. Okay, so um, that's very, very concrete, very physical. Saturn in, um, in Capricorn and Sun in Taurus, it, it's both are Earth signs, right? When we have a trine, it's always very often the same element, almost all the time. Um, so we have both are Earth sign and they are very, very concrete Earth sign. Capricorn wants to realize, wants to... And make something and Taurus is just so material so concrete so you put both together in trine at that full moon it means 
April is a great month. All that energy we talked about, you know, from the new moon to the full moon, uh, where energy is growing, Mars and Pluto, and then Sun and Uranus and Aries, all that energy that is developing is there to really materialize something, to make something concrete right away. So we had in March, um, with the full moon of March, we had this contact with the authority, you know, um, how if we respect the authority of a structure, how we will be welcome into that structure. That's the energy of March uh, with that full moon of March. Now in April, it's already a materialization of that connection. So it's very quick. It's happening very fast. So um, just be very um, mindful about this. Try to feel that. Of course, you don't have to complete the materialization of that thing. It can keep going for months and even years. There's no problem with that. It, it's just outlining that, yes, from those connections happening in the month of March, there will be um, a concrete impact. It doesn't have to be completed right away in April. It could, but it doesn't have to. You can then let time finish the process, but it's showing right away that there will be a concrete materialization of those connections made around the full moon of March. So I think for now, for the capsules of April, it's already a lot. Um, I know there's a lot of different notions there. I hope it's clear enough. If not, please ask the questions in the com comments uh, below and it will be a pleasure to answer you back. Um, and of course, please uh, subscribe to uh, the YouTube channel and you can like, comment, uh, everything, share. Uh, it's always a pleasure to see that happening. Thank you so much for watching and see you next month.